Hello one, hello all, it is the gothiest ghost of them all, Kespa in the flesh, and it's time for a review of Joanna Sternberg, I've Got Me. Joanna Sternberg is a singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and this is their second studio album. Now, when I first heard Joanna and I first heard their vocals, I was like astonished that this person was the age that they are because they sound like they're seasoned you know the vocals sound very seasoned they sound very mature but it turns out that they're a little younger than i am and i'm 34 they're i believe 31 i think and where they're from because listening to the vocals they sound like they have like a country influence like this album has a lot of elements of country a lot of elements of ragtime and i was shocked to find out that this person is from new york so that goes to show you a lot of personality goes into this a lot of feeling goes into this it's very indie it's very homespun in my opinion i feel it has the the very cutesy tone of a daniel johnston and a little kimia dawson as well but maybe not as absurd when it comes to the lyrics and definitely more practiced definitely more measured, but not in a stiff way. You're still getting very raw emotion here. You're still getting very raw playing here. It just sounds like they've been at this before. Like nothing sounds amateurish and not to take anything away from Daniel or Kimia. I feel like they are great in what they do and they have a very raw, just let it all out type of playing. But with Joanna, it sounds like there was a little more practice that went into this, but but they're still progressing and playing along. Like it's a very raw expression, but it's a very practice raw expression. That's that's what I was trying to say. Eh, yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to say. But anyway, and one thing I do love about this album is lyrically there is a contrast because while the lyrics are self-loathing, there's also a warmth here. There's also something that's very welcoming, something inviting and loving and adoring about this album in contrast to what Joanna is putting out lyrically. Also, they're definitely adding new stuff to the table here. You're definitely getting some ragtime influence on this with some really jazzy piano licks. Definitely some Broadway style musicianship here, but not in a cheesy theater kid kind of way. And with the ragtime playing here, it's really no surprise that that Scott Joplin would be an influence to them with how polyrhythmic the uh, piano playing is, like on the song Drifting on a Cloud. And I also love the little incorporation of the very forlorn strings just hanging in the background. I just picture them in a saloon where all the people of the town are just gathered around and just watching them as they just play their hearts out in this saloon. And they, it's just an awe-inspiring moment and everyone's moved, even the rough and tough ones. And even though there's influences here, I feel they definitely craft their influence to make it their own and use it to paint these pictures and just unapologetically express their tumultuous events, and just wearing their heart on their sleeve this whole entire album. With their amiable vocals, with their very expressive playing here, there, there's definitely a lot of expression to be had and captured on this. With lyrical themes as I alluded to earlier, dealing in self-loathing, love, but not loving themselves, and a lot of heartbreak. There's a lot of heartbreaking moments on here, just displaying their heart and soul for the world to see. Well, in this case, to listen to. Unless you see them in concerts, then it's like a mix of both, but I digress. And while they're mixing folk and ragtime, they're definitely, they're bringing in different elements of folk, such as Irish folk, like on the song, I Will Be With You, a very romantic ode to this person about yearning to be with this person, yearning and manifesting, that one day they'll be together. And as I said before, this melody just has a very folky, very Irish, very Celtic feel to it. I will be with you. I will be with you. It's very somber. It's very Celtic. Definitely staying true to the roots of that genre. And they are definitely excellent when it comes to guitar phrasing on here. Like they not only know how to play, but they also know how to hit you in the feels as well. And I feel like these tracks are honestly at their best 
when they're either more stripped back or stripped back where the instrumentation just gradually comes in as the song as the songs just gradually progress and build where it starts off with stripped back guitar strumming or even when it's stripped back and there's really no extra instrumentation at all like on the love i give that has like this stop and go groove to it when it comes to the guitar strumming and i also love the very tangible and very vivid imagery that they construct here with their lyrics and playing like on the song people are toys to you that has this very Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers waiting type of momentum to it when it comes to the guitar work on here. And it's about this scumbag manipulator who just takes people and just takes advantage and just uses them up. And then once they find like no use for them, they just discard them like their toys and just moves on to the next person. And Joanna is just calling them out on their bullshit. I'm sorry, I... I get really emotionally invested into these songs. Can you tell? Or the endearing track, Stockholm Syndrome, where Joanna is painting the picture while they are reminiscing about this love interest that they had. And based on the lyrics, it's a saddening situation where they're expressing their love for this person, but there's this, but there's this disconnect where the feeling is not really mutual. So while this thing does have like saddening lyrics, I feel there's humorous lyrics on here where they're going home, they're drunk arm in arm, and then when Joanna switches off the light, there's a roach crawling on their arm. Like I feel on here this is where where we probably get like the most vivid in terms of lyrics. Not to, not to say like a lot of these lyrics aren't vivid, but this one right here you could definitely picture like bar for bar. And with the playing, with their emotive singing on here. It's like lyrics like this, lyrics, it's like lyrics like this, this type of song playing, and how catchy and sweet the melodies are on here. Like, do 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 da da dum. Like, it just gives me so much various emotions. Like, it's moving to me. And the expression and the realism here is just undeniable. The song right here, which is probably the most crushing piano ballad on here, also yearning for a partner who you're head over heels for, but they're not really reciprocating the same energy that they should have putting into this relationship. And the saddening melodies, and the saddening melodies and the way they coalesce with the keys really hits hard for me. There are some moments on here that are a little rough around the edges, like the song, like the Human Magnetic song. Like, I don't mind the pianos, and I don't really mind the melodies on here. I think those are great, but the bluesy guitars kind of sound a little punched in, and I feel like they could have been left out on here, because I feel like they're kind of an odd fit for the track, unfortunately. The song, which is the closing track on here, which is probably the most sobering track on here, and especially hits hard for a closer. Like, it's very sad, it's very bluesy, with this despondent guitar strumming and lyrically just falling apart on this track with probably the most heart-wrenching lyrics on this whole album. I've been drinking, I've been losing my pride. If I had any left to lose, then I wouldn't be playing the blues? God damn. With the inclusions of these glistening piano keys, really adding a bit of ambience to the track, adding a bit of sparkle to the track. So in comparison to the last album, I definitely dig the variation here. Like there's certainly more to choose from in terms of the instrumental palettes. Like there's definitely more variety here instrumentally. And I feel when done right, it definitely adds more to the compelling feeling of the album. It definitely drives more of an emotion here. And definitely brings more emotionally compelling moments on here. And there are some spots that are a little rough around the edges as far as instrumentation goes. But overall, I think this thing is great. I'm feeling a four out of five on this album. I thought this was really good. And I've seen some people say this sounds like it came from a second grader, which is honestly kind of shallow in my opinion. I mean, if you're gonna go with that, like add a little more detail to that. So while there are moments on here that do come off like they could have came off in a play, there's definitely more to it. Like you mean to tell me that lyrically this came from a second grader? No, 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 no. Shame on you. <sighs> But that's just my opinion. Uh, if you've given this album a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? And why? Maybe it was because of the reason that um, I mentioned earlier. I hope not. But uh, that's it. Caspa, Gothic Ghost, 
Joanna Sternberg, I've got me till we meet again.